Soma yo. Wewe mtu mkoo wewe. Njoo huku. Nataka nisome hapa. Hii ni ngapi hapa? 90. Hii ni ngapi hapa? 9. Hii ni ngapi hapa? 90. Options. Are you teaching it the special life and disability and the right to premium types and the components premium calculation surplus and bonuses as well as uh, evaluation of life assurance products and the rest is life assurance claims processes so starting with life assurance riders or options what is option or what is life riders an option or rider is addition to the basic cover of life assurance so unapofanya addition yoyote ile kwenye mkataba wa life assurance either unaongeza au unapunguza inaitwa options au rider baby ni modification to the original life assurance policy that can either add or subtract subtract benefits and uh specific to each policy on a needs so kile kitendo cha kufanya modification kwenye mkataba wa bima wa life kinaitwa rider either una add something or una unguza vitu una subtract chochote inaitwa uh, what we call option or rider it can be health cost disability pale ambapo labda unasema ni toleni health cost kwenye mkataba wa mwabima au unasema ni niongezeni health cost kwenye mkataba wa bima inaitwa rider or option disability benefits na vitu vinavyofanana na hivyo ah please annuity that kipengele cha pili you should know the meaning classification advantages and disadvantages of annuity what is annuity annuity is an agreement between two or more parties the life assurance company and the policy holders uh, usually annuity is any kind of periodic payment of income or compensation by insurance company to the insured person uh, this payment can be the payment of premium or the payment of the income or the benefits a periodic payment which is premium or benefits kama lipo yote yale ambayo yamekaa periodically kwenye life assurance it can be premium or benefit inaitwa annuity ah the contractual uh, definition nyingine is a contractual agreement between two parties life assurance company promising to pay periodically income and insure the promises to pay periodically the premium that is what we call annuity annuity is a person who is paid who is paid up uh, periodically basic classification of annuities basic of classifying annuities criteria of factors of basis for classifying life annuities unaweza tumia baadhi ya criteria how the annuity is purchased is one among the criteria uh, to know the classes of life annuity single premium annuity so how the annuity is paid uh, is purchased kwa mfano if it is a single premium unalipa premium mara moja basi utakuwa ni single premium annuity lakini kama ni flexible premium yani unalipa premium is kwa range kidogo kidogo uh, kwa installment utakuwa ni flexible premium annuity how often the annuity is paid monthly year unalipa annuity mara ngapi kama unalipa mara moja au unalipa kwa, kwa mfumo gani kidogo kidogo eh, so kama unalipa unalipa once date a discrete annuity and only once or two times or three times discrete annuity yani ina ina vipindi vya kulipwa na inaweza kawa unalipwa mara moja mara mbili mara tatu so itakuwa itakuwa discrete annuity continue continue as annuity ile infinitive you don't know una atujui wewe unalipa mara moja mara mbili na inaweza kana ikawa ni hivi either unalipa premium au unalipwa wewe mwenyewe kama unalipwa wewe mwenyewe pesa yako na shwale stamp na life assurance stamp unalipwa mara moja au unalipwa mara mbili na kwa ni discrete annuity lakini kama haijulikani utalipwa unalipwa mara ngapi inaitwa uh, infinitive unalipwa mara moja kwa saa kwa wiki kwa mwezi inaitwa discontinuous annuity the number of benefits of premium is not defined haijulikani unalipwa mara ngapi uh, another criteria of classifying annuity is how payment are payable in the period annuity due na immediate annuity annuity due at the beginning of which month kama unalipwa at the beginning tarehe moja ya kila mwezi basi itaitwa annuity due kama wewe unalipwa unalipa premium at the beginning of which month uh, itaitwa 
itaitwa uh, annuity due lakini kama wewe unalipwa at the end or after maturity of the insurance inaitwa immediate annuity at the end of the period ni kama vile mshahara that is the meaning of uh, annuity immediate annuity So another criteria is when the annuity payment is due to the beginning. Kwa kuna kwa na immediate annuity na deferred annuity. Deferred annuity ni ile ambayo inachelewa kulipwa lakini kama malipo yanaanza on spot baada ya after days or after the maturity au on spot after the commencement of life annuity contract so in it immediate lakini deferred inachelewa kulipa unaanza labda umefaiki leo watu wa beneficiaries wanaanza kulipa labda baada ya mwezi mmoja that is deferred annuity another is length of the payout payout period and so we have annuity certained certain and life annuity some ni kama hapo unalipa before uh, before days within a period kama sasa baada ya miaka 10 mimi nilipwe au ni pale ambapo naomba kwamba sawa mimi natoa na na na, na nimekata life annuity naomba nilipwe katikati ya ndapo kisha miaka 20 labda let's say miaka 45 naomba mnipe kiasi fulani cha fedha ili niweze kurahisisha maisha hapa katikati inaitwa annuity certain life annuity ni ile unayolipwa after death then after retirement maybe another thing is whether the periodically the periodically periodic payment is fixed or variable yale malipo ni fixed or variable so we have level annuity and non level annuity level annuity ni ile fixed amount every every time kwa una kuna lipo pesa pesa ambayo ni fixed kila kila wakati kwa maana ni 2020 hivi basi tupo 2020 mpaka utakapokufa non level annuity means can automatic progression au au geometric progression inaweza kai na increase yani kwamba huyu hii haina level haina amount maalum sio fixed lakini inaweza kai inalipwa kila mwezi na ongezeka kidogo kidogo kwa fixed amount kwa mfano mwezi huu mlipwe 30 mwezi ujao 40 mwezi ujao kwa msimu maana kina ongezeka wa 10 that is uh, arithmetic uh, uh, progression la, lakini wakati mwingine inaweza kai ni ina increase by value value variation leo umelipo 25 kesho unalipo 32 kesho so things of the kind that is non level annuity so what about the classification then the concept of underwriting underwriting you should know the meaning of underwriting so underwriting involves the selection and risk classification processes that is all about underwriting as a definition underwriting ni kile kitendo cha identify risk then you select the risk by underwriter so the types category um, who is underwrite so the process underwriting is a process by which insurer assign a proposed insured to a group or class of insurers who is appropriate the same expected loss probabilities insurer decide the proportion to cover or to offer to propose that. The purpose of underwriting is to prevent and selection of selection against the insurer that is the purpose to classify the risk and insurance equities among risks so one is to classify risks again okay, we will prevent and selection and factors considered in life assurance underwriting factors gani yani zinakuwa considered unapotaka kufanya underwriting ya life one is age of the proposed umri wa mtu husika tunaamini kwamba mtu mwenye umri mkubwa ndio mwenye probability kubwa ya kudai so ndio maana inaangalia age kwenye underwriting ya life lakini vile issue nyingine ni gender male and female actual male has low life expectancy compared to female so vitu vyote hivyo lazima viangalie kwamba mwanamke ana uwezo mkubwa kuishi zaidi kuliko mwanaume nyingine ni personal history of the, per- the particular individual kwa hiyo anaangalia je ama iko kubwa mara ngapi medical reports and things of the kind that is a personal history of the particular person so unapofanya underwriting in life lazima uangalie history ya mtu binafsi another is physical characteristics the body morphology je huyu mtu ana nene kesi gani 
ana urefu kiasi gani na uh, uzito kiasi gani tunaamini kama mtu akizidi uzito fulani kulingana na weight yake basi huyo mtu anaweza ka face matatizo kadha wa kadha mtu mwenye unene mkubwa tunaamini kwamba huyo mtu anaweza ka face baada ya matatizo fulani fulani kwa hivyo na premium yake itakuwa calculated based on the uh, body morphology yake um, and another is family history je kuna magonjwa ya kulisi katika familia hiyo another is occupation una kazi gani je wewe ni mlinzi aenda usiku je wewe ni ni engineer una majidili na mambo ya tanesco na umeme unafanya kazi tanesco au ni mwasibu tu those things are the kind nyingine ni residence makazi je unakaa karibu na barabara au unakaa karibu na mito lazima tujue yote hivyo kwenye underwriting nyingine ni lifestyle nyingine ni habit wewe ni mlevi lazima tujue nyingine ni hobbies unapenda michezo gani unacheza mpira eh au unacheza mireka so ili tujue jinsi ya complete uh, premium yako wewe another thing is technique used technique of underwriting kuna judgment on method na numerical method judgment unatumia experience kwamba wako kwenye group hii mtu mwenye tabia hizi na hizi huwa anakuwa anakuwa anawepo kwenye group hili na nyingine ni numerical underwriting so hizo ni techniques za underwriting ah so since why do we need to underwrite reason for underwriting atakio jiwe reason for underwriting one is to classify kurahisisha calculation ya premium Yeah, and things of the kind to know to know the characteristics of the particular individual cuz classification guiding principle range standard group balance inside of sub standard group plans with each class equity social capacities classes of group of list uh not important sub standard the decline types of underwriting so types of underwriting you have numeric underwriting na numeric underwriting as well numeric uh, underwriting ni ile underwriting ambayo sasa hii utatumika utatumia numeric uh, history ya mtu uh, unatumia underwriting kwa kutumia numeric history ya mtu husika na hapa factors ambazo numeric tumeshaziongelea pale kwamba utaangalia utaangalia Uh, history of mtu busika kama yeye kuugua mara ngapi medical reports body morphology na vitu vya kufanana na hivyo ambavyo ni medical individual underwriting uh, so so nyingine ni nani medical underwriting hii ayuhusishi medical information hii yenyewe ni pale ambapo mtu anauliza patients kazi anayofanya anaulizwa anaulizwa hobbies habits so hizo ndio vinaitwa nani medical individual underwriting is another type of underwriting individual ni pale ambapo unafanyia mtu binafsi underwriting ya mtu binafsi nyingine ni group ni pale ambapo unafanya either ni association au ni company kwa vitu kama hivyo so group underwriting factors tumezifunza by individual now is the group types of group schemes compulsory membership free cover limit employee benefit of so is no uh, factors za underwriting za group so long term care insurance now pump permanent health insurance treat disease or critical illness cover the nature of the cover provided and things of the kind as seen you getting principle for determining amount of of load principles for the writing so tuna principle kwanza lazima iwe adequate ya pili ni equity nyingine ni competitiveness kwamba hiyo premium ni lazima iwe ni adequate iwe na uwezo wa premium ambayo mtu anataka atoe iwe ni premium ambayo ina uwezo wa kukava tatizo lakini iwe inaleta faida kwa insurance company they are no adequate nyingine ni equity maana ile premium ina reflect the risk nyingine ni competitive kwamba ile premium hiyo competitive with the market kwamba kwenye market kuna makampuni mengi sasa ile premium unaweka sio ndogo kiasi kwamba tatizo yote yakaja kwa kwa maana utashindwa kwa beba sio kubwa kupita kiasi kiasi kama hata yote yakakukimbia wewe hiyo ndo maana ya hiyo issue hapa. Nyingine ni types of premium kuna benefits uh, kuna pure premium, nyingine ile kuna gross premium. Eh ni ile ni net premium na hii ni gross premium. Nafikiri unaposema gross premium maana sio premium halisi. Ni premium ambayo bado haijafikia kwenye warisi wake. Lakini ile kuna pure premium au net premium ambayo sasa ndo premium kamili. So you should know like also the components of the premium. 